Uh, what, so hey, uh, this is B-roll off-road. We're going to do a uh, rig walk around here. Does that sound good? I'm just kidding, there isn't anybody over there. This is my 2008 Nissan Xterra off-road. Rode it right on the side so you know it's sick, but I painted it black like an idiot. <laughs> I wanted pretty much no setup, show up just like this, pop the chair, boom, that's camp, done. Also on freezing nights, I wanted to be able to just take my shoes off, take my pants off, get back there into my preheated sleeping bag and be done. Be able to convert this back into a regular car Monday through Friday. So just remove this, fold all this up once, take the whole mattress, sleeping bag, blanket, and pillow out, and then remove this, put the seat bottom in, and four steps, I have a regular car again. The off-road package gets you bigger tires, which are gone now. Bilstein shocks, which are also gone now. Sicker Rockford Fosgate sound system with sub under this seat and amp under that seat. Speaking of seats, you get cooler seats in general. Also, the shotgun one folds flat for a perfect nightstand. You also get hill descent, which is kind of useless, but the main thing is this factory diff lock. I do when I get a new truck is take off the mud flaps, the steps, and both sway bars. Then I had blown shocks all around and a broken leaf in each pack, so you can't really see it. But... An Emu complete kit, which is new coilovers, X and new these things that hold your screen door open. That remedied all those problems, but then I had a blown ball joint and uh, one or two control arm bushings that were messed up, so we got these SPC UCAs, and uh, that's it for suspension. Other than that, just the 285-75 KO2s. Before that, it was 255-85 KM2s. So basically my entire off-road package is three things. Tires, two inch lift, and no sway bars. And that's that's the message here at B-Roll. Doesn't take much. You just need some kind of four by four, couple of ties, couple of freaking flexes, and then you'd be all right, eh? Anything chrome, I plasti dipped, and everything plastic did in the uh, classic Rust-Oleum bed liner. And that has all been working out fine. I probably have more done to my dash than anything else, starting with the scan gauge. This is the third car this has been in, you know what it is. The Garmin, um, Drive Smart, this thing, the LMT has been really good. It usually has the trails on it, unbelievable. This is the CB up here. Um, we'll show you the antenna on the back. Here is this level I just got from my big air guy with the maroon Tacoma. This is on the exact same plane as the bed is and uh, so that's good to go. And then I just recently got these dash cams. The cable I routed all down here, underneath, back up in here, and then just rode this all the way back. Came right along here and in there, and he pops out there, looking out the rear window. And then there's the CB antenna, little bit different ran that through here and down low all through this stuff power for the dash cams comes down through here um they just have a cigarette lighter so just follow that up and then the cord comes out right here and into the sig lighter now onto the sleeping setup if you've ever searched sleeping in an xterra you have seen this you either get these hdx's or the action packers these things kind of suck. Should have got the action packer. Cut a mattress and uh, fold the seat flat. That's it. Super simple. Super easy. I call it the coffin. This is my solo setup. Basically, I can have all my film equipment over there behind the driver's seat and just chuck the uh, tripod in through the rear window there. Keep going on to the next one. Brings us to this thing. Like I said, this is removable. So I have this board down here and there's just two screws coming up into it 
and then I hook them in the channel. So once they're in there, it's pretty good to go. These are just, uh, I just drilled a hole and pressed toothpicks into there and sanded them down. So those are my drawer locks. In this thing, we have clothes for this trip. We have specialty items, toilet paper, paper towels, rain jacket, windbreaker, onesie, long johns, all that kind of stuff, swim trunks, towel. This is everything cooking and fire making. A um, couple of bowls, couple of cups, one of these like tiny stoves that just screws onto the gas, nothing crazy. This is all my food. Got Dunkin' Donuts, a couple of mountain houses, a couple of soups, cliff bars. I don't like bringing anything that expires. So sometimes I get home, I'm exhausted, I don't clean my car out for four days. This is all stuff that can sit in here for two years. Here is just a bunch of random stuff. I got a book, I got some matches, got some lights, knives, just everything. Up here we have the mud room. These are B-roll shoes, these are water shoes. Then we have quick access. Um, these are lights, headlamp, bungee cord, zip ties, paracord, and some wet wipes. Pressed in here we have sweater, hoodie, parka, and then the tripod lives under there. In here we just have the drone bag, the one gallon Yeti, which we will never talk about the price of. One of these, this is fine for what I do. Usually just has these in it, no big deal. Good to go, perfect. <laughs> now we got the uh, air compressor here, no big deal. In this crate, I've got a bag with batteries, flashlights, probably a roll of toilet paper. That's also where the air compressor goes and where our dry food goes when my girlfriend's in here and we don't have the cabinets. Almost forgot, this is where the Fisker's axe lives. In the drone bag, we got spare blades, GoPro mount for no reason, batteries, ND filters, a light for no reason, bandanas for no reason, remote. Here's the Yuanzi U-Grip, used it twice. There's the cable to connect the remote to the drone. This is the drone and a beanie to isolate it. And then this is just charging and mounts I'll never use and a couple GoPros and whatever. Got a deck of cards, case of emergency, couple more charging, what is this? Eight inches of paracord. <laughs> this is the Mi Photo Road Trip. I really like that it's got these styles so you can unlock them all at once and pull it instead of undoing 12 latches. This ball mount is huge with built-in level. I also really like this two-stage leg because when I'm up on a hill, instead of like shortening all the legs, I could just pop it in like that. Good to go. My Rode, or Rodie, Rode, who cares? Video Mic Go with homemade pom pom dead cat. And this is just a Yuanzi mount. This is the base of the Mi Photo, but this top part is the Yuanzi. Um, lost one of these things, so I got two, three toothpicks in there. Works great. Other odds and ends are this. Uh, cargo bungee net it sucks I put like one hat up there at a time this is a uh, I think they call it a medical pack I got this at army surplus but I do have my first aid kit in the back section and then this is just extra stuff we got a speaker spare lights some batteries some knives some probably roll a toilet paper in there roof is pretty basic just got the action tracks here Shovel, good to go. This is the roofaroo or the trasher roof, no big deal. Sick mod paracord holding my skid plate up because some previous owner broke the bolt off in there and I don't want to deal with it. Sick mod. I literally bought this just because I thought it was funny. So there you have it. Nothing too crazy, nothing very unique. Just a pretty plain rig that I can sleep in. It gets me where I need to go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And other than that, I don't know. I never do these. So what What do you do now?
Alright, now we're ready. 